What is up everybody? In this video we are taking a look at these, the very dirty Puma Nitro Voyager. everybody and welcome back to 40 runs are you a trail runner maybe you're like me and you just try and get up there when you can or you're trying to do a little bit more let me know in the comments what's your go-to trail running shoe now puma who have been killing it this year have come out with a trail shoe they've stuck the nitro compound that we all love on the 40 runs and they stuck it into a trail shoe but is it any good uh what's it like all that kind of stuff well in this video i'm going to tell you so let's get stuck in. Okay, people, so mad love again to Puma. We know how much we like uh, Puma on this channel, but I'm not getting paid by Puma. Now we've got the Puma Nitro Voyager. Now this is not the GTX version, people. There is a GTX Gore-Tex version of the shoe, which you can get as well. But this is a non-Gore-Tex version. I just wanna make that absolutely clear. And, and actually while I'm making stuff about um, what it's about now, let's do the stats and features quickly before we get into how it feels and how I've been getting on with it and all that kind of stuff. So this shoe's 110 pounds. We've got a mono mesh, uh, full booty construction upper. We've got some fancy lacing technologies, OptiFit or something or other. Uh, we've got the Nitro um, midsole combined with the, I think it's called ProFly Light. Hang on, let me just check on my notes. Uh, Pro foam light, there we go, um, midsole. So it's a blend of the two, which makes sense because if you put the nitro midsole into this, it would be way too soft. And then on the outsole, we've got the ATR Puma grip. And I appreciate these are very muddy, so apologies for that. I usually like to clean the shoes up before we get on the channel, but basically I run out of time. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, lacing's okay, we've got a pull tab, we've got some form of structure around the heel. And I've mentioned 110 pounds. They are a little bit narrow across the midfoot. Be aware of your sizing, people, so just check that out. Um, I think that is about it in terms of stats and features. There's not a hell of a lot of information on the Puma website about these shoes. I like this nice reflective element along here, by the way. Um, but yeah, let's get into how it feels and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so. In terms of how it feels, uh, I love the blend of the ProFlow Light and the Nitro midsole. Um, the ProFlow Light is a um, decent addition. It would have been way too soft having the Nitro foam in here. You'd have been all over the place. Grip is awesome. In that video um, where I took these and filmed these, uh, it was really wet and we wasn't sliding around. Nice bumper on the front um, to keep some of the water out, keep some of the mud out. My foot did get wet, but they say it's not the GTX version, uh, but it kept some of it out in fairness to uh, the shoe. Uh, there was uh, enough foam around the heel to stop any heel slippage, but also make it comfortable. I would say it was uh, a task putting them on. I really had to loosen them off to get them on because of the one piece boot construction. Uh, I alluded to it in the um, uh, stats and features. It is quite narrow uh, along uh, along the midfoot. I've loosened them off, um, and uh, it seems to have got better. Uh, but just be aware of it. I've also stopped wearing a double skin sock with these as well. I've gone to a single skin sock as well, and that's helped uh, along the way. Uh, plenty of stability in the heel. This shoe is a. I really wish I cleaned this. Uh, road to trail um, shoe. It's. It's not like a, a proper out and out trail shoe. Think Pegasus Trail 3 along those lines. Uh, and I think that's a great place for it to sit in that sort of, uh, like, yeah, not hardcore trail person like me. It's just a nice place, you know, a nice blend place, blend between road and trail. So you can stick these on. I can run up the woods and things like that, but I can run home in them. Uh, I haven't done the weight actually. And it's always frightening when we do the weight. 12 ounces, UK nine and a half. And that is in grams, three, four, one. So like most of the trail shoes out there, it's heavy. Uh, but I don't notice the weight too much. And in terms of performance, it was actually quite surprising. Yeah, this thing picked up quite well, actually. Um, it, it, not, <sighs> so roads, it was all right, but 
you know, when you're sort of bobbing and weaving, it was it was competent and it felt agile and it and I could feel the response the, from the nitro foam and it made it a lot of fun. I think that's the best way to describe it. You do um, you do feel a little bit cumbersome over some of the sort of wood, uh, woody stuff, but you know, when you're just sort of tottering about in the uh, and up in the Broxham woods, it's a mixture of gravel trails and, and then into the woods and things like that. It was fine. It was absolutely fine. Um, what's the best way to, to sort of conclude it? I think this is something that's a little bit different to your usual, and actually it's all the Puma shoes. It's a little bit different to your norm. The weight is a problem, I would say, for some. For me, it's not. But I just think it offers something different to your Nike Pegasus of this world. And that's probably the best way to, uh, to conclude the video. I think they've done a great job first stab at this. I can't wait to see how they go and where they go with the next incarnation of this. Personally, I would definitely recommend getting the GTX version. Uh, that's a must, I would say. If you're going to be spending, you know, uh, £110, then try and get the GTX version. And by the way... Um, £110, I think, is the right price for this shoe. If you look at the uh, Asics Jabuco Max, that's £155, which is a lot of money. So £110 is priced right. But yeah, I think this is a great first stab at it. Puma, as in all of 2021, have, have been hitting the right marks. Got to watch your uh, sizing a little bit. But yeah, really impressed with it. Uh, it was a great um, addition to the lineup. It's needed. Love the grip. It's proving to be a real hit for me. i say that road to trail. And yeah, I can't recommend it enough in, in, if you're looking for something that little bit different to your usual brands.